Welcome to Compose UI. In our previous video, we created a simple calculator using Compose UI. And we noticed that we used some of the components in Compose UI. We used um, test, test field, button, and then column to create our simple calculator. Today, we are going to look at the ease of test in Compose UI and then in our next video we will look at how to style a test in Compose UI okay so you realize that when we perform the calculation we have to display the result on the screen or to the user for us to achieve that we have several ways of doing that but from our previous video we used test to display the final answer to the user. Now, we are going to dive deeper into how to use test in Compose UI. For us to use the test, we have to call the function called test or the test class. Okay, so we have the UI class and then we are calling the function called test. Okay, so it's now asking us to provide us the detail. So we have, if we put a cursor on it, the error will be, we have error telling us that, okay, so let's break the double, double quote. It needs a string. Then let's give it, welcome to code jogging. Okay. So now we are done adding test to our Compose UI app. So let's run the app and then let's check the output okay here we go now we have our heading here welcome to compose ui so what we are going to do next is we are going to change the text color to red we are going to change the font style we are going to change the font size and then we are going to um bold the heading these are the four things we are going to tackle in this video so what we are going to do is first is first we have to identify the properties of the test okay when you talk about the properties we are talking about uh, things you can add to the test field or to the test here for you to make it um, readable for example we can have multiple tests here and we want to make the first one stand out that this one is a header and this one is a normal test so for us to make sure that this one is a header we know that we can underline it we can bold it we can even increase the font, si font size and then also change the font style something that makes it unique so that when your user is reading from your app the, per the user will know that Yes, this one is a header and uh, this one is, let's say, an explanation or maybe a different paragraph of test. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to make this one as our header. Okay, so we are going to change the color to red. We are going to change the font width to black or bold then we will change the font style to we will change it from default to our custom font okay and then yes style goes on you add a lot to it so for us to know the properties that we can use in the test field, we can place the cursor on it and then we can see all the properties here. What we can use to customize our test field. So now, what we are going to use, we are going to use the color. We are going to use the color. So we are going to change the color to red. So color equal 
then compose ui color that's the compose ui graphics color dot then we select red let me indent it okay so let's run it okay now we've changed the text color to red okay so the next step is to change the font width to black we are going to bold this text okay so now we are going to change the font width equal font width dot black okay let's run it okay okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to change the font size it's too small so we are going to change the font size to 30.sp okay so that's the font size to 30. okay yes we've done that now the next step is to change the font family so you call the font family to monospace because default compose you are use the device default font so in case you want it to be when the person changes the device font style you want your app to adapt the current font style on the device then you don't need to specify the font family but if you want it to work like how you you've done it here then you need to specify the font family for, for example spotify doesn't use the default or the device default font font style but whatsapp and a lot of apps use device default font so in case you want yours to be static like spotify then you have to specify the fonts family here okay now we want to center our test now you can see that it starts from here to here but we want it to, to be centered then we call a property called modifier don't worry we will handle modifier in one of our video as a topic okay then with meaning that we want to we don't want anything else to come after this header so we are taking the whole width from the start here to this side let's see okay so let's change the color to the color to let's say blue okay black okay let's run it Okay, now you've realized that the test size here starts from the beginning of the test view here to the end of the screen, the width of the screen. So it has occupied the full width of the screen. That's the function of fill max width. Okay, so now let's remove the black. Okay, so now the reason why we use the modifier with um, fill max width is we want to center the test. So you call the test align. 
then we call it a center. And you've seen that we've changed the font family to monospace. So with this one, if the person changed the device font, it won't affect our app. Now let's do it. It's loading. Yes. Now we've centered our header here. Okay. So now this is what you you are supposed to know about the test flow. These are the basic, the basic things you are supposed to know about the test flow. You can go ahead and then also adapt some of the properties and then you see the output. In case you have any question or anything you can use to help the channel, just leave your comments at the comment section or you can reach out to us through the mail. Thank you. See you in our next video. Bye-bye.